Hi, Jeff here with an update on the UK balance of payments, which of course is a key topic for A-level economics. We run a trade deficit in goods every year in the UK that widened to over 7% of GDP last year, or £211 billion, mostly offset by a strong and increasing surplus in services, including business and financial services, which reached 6.4% of GDP in 2024. So overall, the trade balance narrowed to just under 1% of GDP in 2024, down narrowly from 2023. So that's good news for the UK. Uh, the current account deficit, of course, includes primary and secondary income flows. That moved to $63 billion last year, or 2.2% of GDP. Uh, and again, that's come down by $35 billion from the year before. So improvement in the current account, although still a deficit. Now, the financial account recorded a net inflow of 64 billion, 2.2% of GDP, which of course you'd expect. A net financial inflows of 419 billion, net outflows of 355 billion. Those are huge numbers, of course. There are enormous flows of financial portfolio and real investment coming across the, the borders of the UK. On the financial account, the UK, of course, is a net borrow with the rest of the world because we run a current account deficit. So we need to attract net capital financial inflows to finance the current and capital account deficit. And the UK has by and large done that in 2024. Indeed, it remains a relatively safe and stable location, both for sort of tangible FDI, foreign direct investment, and also those short term capital flows. Although falling interest rates from the Bank of England might affect hot money flows as we head into the remainder of 2025.